welcome to our workshop on unconventional senses in robotics, perception for online learning, adaptive behavior and cognition. Um, we're really happy that we have the possibility to hold the workshop at least remotely. Uh, we will have most of our talks live, so really um, thanks to all the speakers who agreed to be there and then present and try to have a little bit of interactive discussion. Um, the first thing that I would like to do is to um, have a couple of thanks to the um, you know, organizations that made it possible. So first, these are um, you know, our employers, the University of Southern Denmark, um, Intel for me, and University of Zaragoza for Xavier. I um, hope that's correct. I also would like to thank um, EU project Neurotech on neuromorphic computing technology um, that also kind of supports and endorses this, um, this workshop and also helped us to advertise it. And certainly all the speakers um, and attendees for being there and spending a couple of hours on your computer uh, today to, to follow this topic. Um, so what the topic is about now, right? This, this is just the kind of the abstract from, from our webpage. Um, but to set the scene, right, and to remind everyone why we're here. Um, so in robotics, sensing is, of course, extremely important for robots that we want to interact with, uh, you know, more or less real world environments, environments that need to be perceived. And in this perception field, computer vision has played a major role and continues playing it now. And cameras are, of course, amazing sensors. So they enable distance sensors. They're amazing. They, they enable uh, very precise and detailed sensing. Uh, and they're used everywhere. And especially nowadays with the rise of deep learning that uh, has started in computer vision and in solving image processing tasks, um, vision is basically everywhere and seems to be the main and the most dominant sensory modality. Um, but us trying to solve robotics tasks, we know that uh, you cannot solve any task, every, any task with vision or every task with vision. We also require other senses. For instance, if you want to manipulate objects, then tactile sensing becomes very important. Um, you cannot you know, perform all the force control and all the fine-grained in-hand manipulation with vision only. Um, auditory perception is also important, and all the other sensors uh, could play a role in enabling robo robotics in, in real world. However, um, other sensory modalities seem to kind of lag behind vision, and the question is why, and there might be many reasons for that, so we list uh, a couple, so sometimes um, they may be expensive, sometimes um, the availability may be limited, sometimes the software, how to process the output of the sensors might, might be missing, especially if you want to do some intelligent processing and inference. Uh, but very often we simply don't think that there may be a sensor out there that, that could help us solve the task. Um, so kind of in order to kind of contract the, this problem, we decided to hold this workshop where we invited a couple of um, speakers to talk about um, sensory modalities and, and sensors that are uh, a bit unconventional, they, that are not um, the ones that are you know, dominating the field of perception nowadays. Um, so we will talk about modalities such as olfaction, electrosense, um, tactile, um, and then uh, event-based or you know, bio-inspired unconventional way to approach vision or auditory processing. Um, we will miss a couple of modalities that we hope to have, like chemical or, or wind or magnetic, uh, but at least we hope to you know, have this discussion going about other sensors that are also important and we want to integrate in our system and we want to develop software and algorithms and artificial intelligence systems for, for their processing. So that's the goal of our workshop. This is the schedule. So we'll start with tactile perception and proprioception. We will start with three invited talks. Um, you know, from, from researchers all over the world, and then we'll have two contributed talks from, from the papers that we've received, um, short abstracts. Then uh, we'll have a very short break and we'll, we'll switch to auditory and electrosense modality. There will be two invited talks there and one contributed talk. Then we'll have a long session um, after lunch break on unconventional vision. And we'll have some, some very prominent researchers there who are you know, one of the key people in event-based vision or you know, more unconventional visual systems in general. And we'll also have a bunch of contributed talks. There will be five contributed talks on uh, vision, mostly event-based vision, but not only. 
Um, and then we'll have uh, one more hour of talks on olfaction as a modality, and there will be two invited talks there. So I would like to end the introductory session. I thank again everyone who, who is here and who is listening to the workshop.